The human immune system is the best doctor in the world. The immune system works 24 hours a day to protect us from enemy invaders. The bone marrow and the thymus are our main lymphoid organs. The bone marrow creates red and white blood cells. White blood cells are our immune cells. Like an army trains its infantry, air force and navy, our thymus trains immune cells called T cells to perform specific functions. The immune system also consists of peripheral lymphoid organs like the tonsils, spleen, lymph nodes, and appendix. For example, swollen lymph nodes under the arms show that our immune cells are fighting an infection. Now, let us look at our very protective immune cells. B cells are immune cells that shoot specific missiles at invaders. These missiles are called antibodies or immunoglobulins. In this animation of a bacterial invasion, B cells jump into action by releasing a bacteria-specific antibody. This antibody locks onto a bacterium and kills it. Another interesting immune cell is the macrophage. The macrophage is both a messenger and a fighter. When it sees enemy cells, it will call other immune cells to the battlefield. It fights enemies by grabbing them and swallowing them. Look at this macrophage. See how it engulfs a dead blood cell and then returns it to its normal shape. There are also several types of T-cells that join in the fight. One powerful T-cell is the NK cell, or natural killer cell. It kills enemies by releasing certain chemicals. In this animation, the NK cell seeks and destroys a growing cancer cell. So you see, the immune system is highly intelligent. It works around the clock to defend us from deadly enemies. Without the immune system, we could die in a matter of hours. But why do so many people still get terrible diseases with such a formidable army inside them? It is usually because they have a malfunctioning immune system. Let us see some examples of a malfunctioning immune system. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. The immune system mistakes our joints as enemy cells and tries to destroy them. Invaders can enter our body at any second. A cut in the tongue or skin creates opportunities for infection. Thankfully, our immune system is always working to protect us. Pollution and dust increase risk for lung cancer. The immune system defends us, but when it becomes weak, cancer cells could start to grow. There is currently no effective drug to stop hepatitis. We must depend on our immune system to fight such foodborne viral infections. A diet rich in plant foods keeps our arteries clear for immune cells to flow smoothly. But a high-fat diet can clog the arteries, jeopardizing the immune system. It is evident that the status of the immune system is a key factor in maintaining one's health.